Behind the yellow door, y'all, we've got Holly Jarvis here of Holly Shade Designs. Holly is here for a pop-up trunk show. Um, she's brought a lot of her beautiful pieces in, and I know that a lot of you follow Holly, and I know that a lot of you are probably interested in a little Q&A session um, so you can learn a little bit more about her and learn about what a cool gal she is. And so we're just going to have, um, for our Behind the Yellow Door tonight, a little Q&A with Holly. Fine. <laughs> what do you say about that, girls? <laughs> and guys, I know the husbands are watching. It's the um, end of the first day of the trunk show. We Cheers. have, um, we're sitting back here in the bubble bar. Holly loves a good um, Chablis or a Chardonnay. And we're drinking Maison Chanzy. Uh, it's a Bourgogne from France. It's a 2021. And um, it's quite delightful. It's so delicious, say. absolutely. <laughs> yeah. All right, Holly, so I'm gonna ask you just a few questions and you can tell everybody what 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 you're all about. Okay. So why don't we start with um, how did you how did you how did how did all of this come about? <laughs> all the craziness. Um, in 2020, my dad sent a bag of oyster shells to me during COVID, yeah. and oh. he knows I like to do not necessarily crappy things, but things, just making things, and uh, because I've painted for years, and so I adorned um, some cuffs and a couple of clutches, and I sent them to you. Yeah. <laughs> Did. Three. I did. And then that's how it all started. I mean, oh that's my how gosh. it all started. Y'all, I do, yeah, that was one of those things where I got these cuffs and they were fabulous. They were the, it was a um, kind of a jeweler's wire cuff. Correct. And she had placed that oyster shell perfectly right there. Um, I still have mine and Good. wear it. Is it still and, on there? Yes, <laughs> and it's fabulous. And Good. then she did these beautiful little woven clutches with a smaller shell. Right. So you had, it was a little bit bigger shell. Correct. Well, I had all sizes. I would polish them and then shellac them, and it was it was such a process. But that's so what sad. happened? I mean, of course, I, you know. I bought them because I love all of that kind of stuff. But what happened after that? It just it took off in the south. And I was trying to keep up with orders. I was still teaching because I had taught for 18 years. And um, she was a school teacher. But now, y'all, what you also have to know is that she was a school teacher in Perry, Georgia, which is where my first store was. But she did not move to Perry until after. I had moved to St. Thomas. Right, 2010. So yeah. she knows a lot of my friends mm -hmm. from Perry, which is so cool, <laughs> yeah. but we didn't make that connection nope. for a long time. No, nope. and I would shop with two friends in Perry, which she, is, <laughs> can you believe crazy. that? Yeah. Full circle. Um, so when did the first kind of clothes, how did that, how did the clothing come out of that? So I could not keep up with the manufacturing of, you know, the jewelry, the handbags, etc., because I was doing everything myself. Um, and a friend suggested to me that, you know, you need to find something, because you've established a brand, you need to find something that you can manufacture. Like you can have outside folks manufacture. And I'd always had ideas about clothing. I saw a void in the market for dresses that were easy to wear, made you feel put, put together, but not look like your teenage daughter or your grandmother. Right. And so I had some patterns and sent them to a manufacturer in India and it started in 2021. They sent samples back and I produced them. And so we were still in the middle of COVID at that time. R correct, the tail end of it. Well, yeah. and, and y'all, for those of you who may or may not know this, but while we were kind of in the middle of COVID, um, we realized as, uh, as retailers that dresses um, were kind of where it was at. You know, we all had our workout clothes, and the clothes that we hung out at home in, but when we were finally getting ready to come back out, mm -hmm. everybody wanted a pretty dress. And so your timing for that, I have no idea. It was just perfect. 
It really was perfect timing. And, and yeah. And what I what I love is that you have made dresses for women um, who may not have the size zero or two body. Um, and of course, we all love the popped collars, which I think always just beautifully frames a woman's face. And it lifts your face as we age. Our you know our features unfortunately start to drop and having a collar just kind of frames your face and lifts things. Um, I've spent, you know, three years perfecting the, the collar, just how it stands, and um, there's, a, there's a, you know, fine line between it being too stiff and, um, and then falling, so that was... Too, too yeah. weak. Yeah, correct. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And I think you have perfected Thank that. You. I feel like I have. Um, feels, yeah. You know, and I also love that you make the dresses, like Holly and I have on the same style dress. The okay. Arden. The Arden. Yeah. Um, which They'll stand up. Yeah. Okay. So you can see here, Holly has it on without the belt, which I usually wear mine without the belt, because, but because she didn't have hers on today, I wanted to put my belt on. But you can see that it's a little popover dress um, the buttons come down to here. It gives you that beautiful V here in the neckline so that we can wear our beautiful yeah. jewels. <laughs> that's right. And yeah. you gave me these oh, yeah, uh, right. beads that we all love and we have those here in the store. And Holly has worked with this company called Fairchild in Baldwin. Correct. And she's doing custom colors for, for Holly Shea. Yeah, yeah for Holly Shea that matches yeah. all of her pieces. Correct. So, um, and what's really cool about it is it's a magnetic neck. Um, so yeah. it just, show them how that works. Yeah, just simple. I mean, so you don't need uh, anyone to help you fasten it. And it's right. just, yeah, it's just, just a magnetic. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And then so then. now I will tell y'all what I do with mine. So I have a thicker neck. So for those of you who follow me, I, you know, I have things that I have to deal with. But let me show you what I did with mine mm, today. I, see. I made, Fairchild Baldwin makes an extender. Mm -hmm. But I did not have an extender, so I made my own. I had a scarf clip, <laughs> a scarf magnet that I just put on, and I took a piece of ribbon, and I made my own extender today. Because when I wear it at full at, at her right place, you just feel it's, it's too yeah. tight on my neck. So for me, having that little bit of a drop down and extending it down works perfectly. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, that's perfect. I yeah. had no idea. Yeah. <laughs> I had it rigged it's a little up. DIY. A little DIY <laughs> on in Marty's jewelry box. Oh, I just that. went and got me a ribbon. So, <laughs> anywho. I love it. Um, so, all right, Holly, tell us yeah. about your kids. Oh. Tell us you got yeah. a boy and girl. I do. I can talk for hours about them. Uh, my son, Larson, is a rising junior at the Citadel. Yeah. Um, sharp kid. He is. He is. He truly is. is. Sharp young man. He is. He's up. <laughs> and then my daughter just graduated from UGA. Yep. Um, and I mean, they graduated from uh, Lasseter High School in Marietta and she's headed to UGA in August. Yeah. So super bright girl. Just we're excited. Yeah. yeah. She's going to yeah. do big things too. Thanks. So Holly's now an empty nester, and we're trying to convince her that she needs to come to St. Simon's and be a local with us. Um, I won't take much convincing. I know. <laughs> we love when she comes to the island because, um, you know, it's just, we always have just such fun. We do. And we get to talk shop, and we love um, meeting with our customers, mm -hmm. and they give us great feedback on what they love right. and um, and I find that I always learn I, I get to see people coming out of the dressing rooms yeah. and what it looks like what pieces look like on real women and I hear feedback and I've tweaked patterns just based on right. what I hear here yeah. yeah and I've brought new things to the market to be able to accommodate yeah. Yeah. what I hear is missing yeah, yeah. so well, y'all, I'm just telling you, if you have not worn a piece of Holly's um, clothing, clothing <laughs> y'all have to have a piece. So we just got in today, as a matter of fact, and so we're filming this on Friday, y'all. Um, but we just got in a brand new 
drop yes, from you. Did. What what do you call it? It's the tiger palm. It's the tiger palm drop. So it's um I have a grass cloth. It's basically a grass cloth um, palm uh -huh, palm print, yep. yeah, tonal. And then um, I did that in a bria, which is um, a cinched waist cap sleeve that Catherine likes to wear. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Have it on. And yep. And um, and then we also did the grace in that, which yep. is the long version of the art of this. Yeah. So, so this dress she does that's short, and the art. Uh, this is called the art, but the grace is just a longer version that right. goes um, kind of mid cap right. with a, a 15 inch side slit, and it's just easy to wear. Again, pop the collar, and you are just you're set. And y'all know I've. Uh, if you don't watch our lives on Tuesday, one of the things that we talk a lot about is how easy um, dressing with a dress is. You can put it on, it's simple, you don't have to think about ma mi mixing and matching your tops and your bottoms and what have you. A dress is simple, you have immediately an elevated look. Um, you know, and. You may not need an elevated look, so you take the necklace off. So look at me now without my necklace on. I could slip on a pair of tennis shoes Correct. and scoot around, right. but still have that little bit of an elevated look. Yes, don't you think? Absolutely. It's yeah. just it's polished and you feel put together and just ready to face your day. And honestly, that was the goal because as I was teaching, I would just I would notice that when it, the last thing you should be worried about is what you're going to put on your body or feel uncomfortable or and, yeah and that was that was yeah. Yeah, that was the goal so are there any i have not seen fall yet oh yeah are, are there any <laughs> su actually i have seen fall yeah 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 absolutely but are there any surprises <laughs> um well gosh the surprises come from resort and um, i am not ready to <laughs> disclose those things yet but let's just say i've listened to what people want and not the silhouettes I have a couple of new silhouettes coming but the prints are just out of this world okay resort. yeah so y'all yeah. y'all heard the prints so one of the things that Holly is really coming on for are her beautiful designs and I have to say we are um, we feel so honored to have kind of introduced Holly to one of her print designers um, Dallas Foshi from Macon Georgia um, worked with us a couple of summers yeah, ago, yeah. Two or three summers ago, Absolutely. and she was an artist mm -hmm. from UGA. Um, UGA grad, and she was wanting to do textile yes. art. Absolutely, and she had not, she had not reached the part in her in her career, career yeah, to be able to even put prints in repeat, which is what you have to do. But when I called her after getting yeah. home from you, she's like. Yes, I can do it. She said, Miss Holly, I had no idea, but I figured it out. And now I'm like, you're my girl because if you are, yep. if you can, and she's just amazing. Yep. Um, I, I typically, you know, come to the table with her with an inspiration or a motif, an idea, and then she just puts it to, to paper and then we print it and it's, it's just a fun process. So y'all, here's also what I want you to know. When you shop Holly Shea Designs, and when you shop two friends, you're shopping small businesses. You're, you're shopping with people that it makes a difference. And um, we really appreciate you shopping with us. We appreciate you loving Holly's designs. Um, I think it's just really special. Anybody can shop big brands and um, what have you, but to shop small, shop, shop small designers, it, it just makes a, a really big difference in um, keeping the world going around yeah. with, with small business owners. So for that, we will say <laughs> cheers to all oh, of you cheers, for sure for and shopping. Y'all can head over to the website if you want to see what we have in the store right now of Holly Shea Designs. Head over and um, we'll have a tab set up with all of Holly's designs that you can visit. Go to town. Shop the vendor <laughs> Holly Shea and um, enjoy shopping. Yeah. And cheers. Cheers.